Good morning, Susie. Law of Attraction. Law of Attraction really is coming into alignment with our inner self. And that's all it ever is. Um, we are given so much contrast in our daily lives that um, we're asking continually, you know, whenever we get something that isn't quite right, doesn't quite please us, we're asking for something a little bit different. We're asking for something more. When we have lack, we're asking for um, whatever we're lacking. So the contrast and the asking is always being done. It's not really something we need to focus on. But the thing is, those askings, although they are offered instantly in the vibration, our higher self instantly becomes us with that asking. It's not until we move into a place of feeling good that we start to receive in the physical those things that we desire. Now, we've asked and asked and asked, and many of us have tried law of attraction, some with success and some with not so much. But the thing is, most of us have got beliefs um, or expectations. You know, I tried this once before and it didn't work. So when you're going into the, the trying of it again, you've got that vibration, that expectation from last time active in your field. And that active expectation is resistance. So while ever we've got beliefs that aren't serving us active, then it's very difficult to override them and receive what we want. But the thing is with law of attraction, you can get into alignment off topic. You can get into alignment on anything. So it might be money that you're wanting and you know, you, if, if it's missing in your life at the moment, then obviously you've got some sort of resistance to it because I'm sure all of us ask, you know, anyone that's certainly in lack has asked for money. So instead of trying to get into alignment on the topic of money, find your alignment on something else. It might be petting your dog or your cat. It may be going for a walk on the beach. It may be appreciating, you know, something in your life. It might be the, the flowers out in your garden. It might be your lover. It might be a grandchild, whatever it is. But the more often we're in alignment, the more often we are feeling good, feeling joyous, feeling in love, we're in alignment. And when we're in alignment, that's when delivery of, you know, not just, not just whatever we're focused on in the moment, but the delivery of everything that we've ever asked for. So, you know, even things like impatience. Impatience is resistance. Impatience is, come on, hurry up, it's not here yet. And you know, and you say, I'm waiting patiently, even when you say you're waiting patiently means that you're waiting, that it's not here yet. So you've got to get rid of the feelings of waiting. You've got to come into letting it go completely, not concentrating on it, just getting happy. Because whatever you're concentrating on what's missing, you're keeping it from, from coming into, into physical being. So I'm um, house sitting at the moment. I've got a beautiful little dog down here. Uh, I don't know if you can see him. Sorry, I'll turn the camera around so I can see. And um, yeah, we are enjoying life and it's coming over quite cloudy outside, but um, I'm on the coast. So I'm about to head to the coast, to the beach and enjoy some um, sea and some sand while I can. So my love to you all and I'll catch you all on the next video. Bye for now.